everybody, welcome back to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at another accessory from the Peak Design mobile lineup. This is the Outfront Bike Mount, which is exactly what the title says. This is a rigid bike mount for your mobile device that you can permanently mount to your bicycle. Earlier we looked at the flexible bike mount that you can sort of put on any handlebar. This one is a lot less detachable and is meant to live on your bike permanently. In the box you get quite a few things, uh, starting here with the user guide, which is actually quite nice because there's quite a lot of uh, things going on here that you might not consider at first. But this is the unit itself, this is the bike mount. Uh, you can see the familiar square if you've seen the other videos from this series. Uh, and it is uh, made out of aluminum, which is nice and sturdy but still lightweight. Here is the other bike mount we looked at, this is the sort of flexible and detachable one. And you can see the difference uh, with the strap in particular versus the mounting mechanism. Uh, that makes all the difference really, the top part is exactly the same. Apart from the fact that with the flexible bike mount you can actually turn it around uh, as you see fit and with the uh, strong out front bike mount here on the left uh, it is locked in position. You can still change it if you want but you're going to need a tool for that. The tool is included, it's the hex key you see on the right. Uh, so that's actually handy obviously that you don't need any external tools uh, that it just comes in the box. Uh, installation is actually quite easy. I'll show you uh, later in the video how it looks on my bike of course. Uh, you just undo a little screw here and then the, the o-ring opens up and you can put it on your handlebars. The things you see in the middle are spacers because uh, obviously not every handlebar is exactly the same size and with the spacers uh, you can actually uh, make sure that it fits on your handlebars bars nice and snug because uh, you want a nice and tight fit with this device. Obviously uh, you're going to mount this for example on a mountain bike or a race bike or something uh, where you will use your mobile device often because this will live on your bike permanently. Uh, so you want uh, a very nice and snug and tight fit. So with these spacers you can find the exact fit that you need uh, to make sure to achieve that fit. Now here's a little thumb screw. You can actually uh, mount this in various positions. Uh, you can mount it flat like this for example on a racing bike. Uh, but you could also tilt it upwards and use your mobile device as sort of a dash cam for your bike, uh, sort of an action cam maybe, and film what is going on. If you don't want to use uh, your mobile device for that, there is this little attachment that uh, you might recognize if you've ever used a GoPro. Uh, this is a little thing that you can mount on the bottom of the device, on the bottom of the hold. Uh, so you can attach a GoPro, an action camera, uh, but even like a bike light, for example, is an option as well. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you do with this mount, uh, which is actually good because the, you know, the, the amount of real estate available on your handlebars might not be that big. I mentioned before that it works with the Slimlink system, uh, just like the flexible bike mount, uh, this just clicks in place and that is it. And then there's two buttons that you can press, uh, you only have to press one, which is important to note actually here, uh, to release it. And as you can see it is very sturdy, which it has to be because your bike is obviously uh, not suspended as much as a car for example. The car mount does only have the magnets, this actually locks in place to make sure it is nice and secure and you don't have to worry about it falling off. It is actually so strong and secure that you can lift your whole bike up just by this mount and actually just by this magnet. Uh, so no worries whatsoever of it falling off in any way, shape or form. Which is exactly what it should be and it is exactly what it does. Uh, Peak Design, obviously I've said it in the other videos as well, is renowned for its quality products, uh, which is exactly what you get here. The quality does come at a price, this costs 66 euros here in the Netherlands, uh, plus a bit of shipping and handling. Uh, so it is certainly not cheap. But for that you do get a product that is well engineered and works every time and then you get a product that is actually this strong and reliable. Now you can see me move the hex key around a little bit. Everything on this uh, mount is adjustable with the hex key. So uh, where the flexible mount you can move things around just by touch by hand. Uh, you can use the hex key here to install and change anything on this rigid mount. Now there are still magnets involved in this mount as well. Uh, the square around the little square in the middle is magnetized uh, so that helps with alignment of your device which is very nice so you don't really have to sort of faff about with putting it right in place and you're always sort of hitting the target right. So that is the theory, now let's have a look at some real world application. Here you can see it mounted on my bike, just a regular city bike here in the Netherlands and this is how you would mount it to a regular bike. You can see if you look closely that I actually put a bit of tape around my handlebars 
That's to prevent scratching and to provide a little bit of extra cushioning to make sure that the O-ring closes even more snug. Uh, the system really works as advertised. You can take your phone on and off with one hand. Uh, if you put it in landscape mode, then of course uh, you're going to need two hands because it's going to be a bit more tricky to press the button. Uh, but this is how it looks like when you're biking. Now, no worries, I am Dutch, so therefore I am the world's best biker and I can do this in traffic with one hand while filming, no issues whatsoever. And I'm actually going to take a bit of terrain here so you can see that, you know, bumpy as it is, this mount is as stable as it gets. No issues whatsoever, biking through a bit of grass, uh, down a sidewalk, onto a bike path. Uh, always going well and it stays exactly where it needs to stay. It's actually uh, quite nice um, if you want to do multitasking on your bike. You can see me here activating the camera on my phone. Uh, so you can use it as a dash cam on your bike if you mount it a bit more upright. Uh, but in this orientation you can actually use it to do a bit of video calling if you so desire while biking. So, you know, very flexible here. But this is how you use the bike mount, uh, in my case at least, with just my mobile device. And like I said before, you can attach several things to it if you so desire. Now, there's really nothing much to say. There's no Bluetooth built in, there's no Wi-Fi. It is just a system to hold your mobile device in place. Works great, quality is great, price is great. And overall, this is a device, uh, as I like him, focused and doing exactly what it needs to do. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.